Hello from El Yunque. I'm Fian Shiros. Our team worked at really unexpected intersections, cultural heritage and biotechnology, material science and fashion design to create the bioleather sneakers. Harnessing the power of microbes to produce raw materials for us, adapting ancient textile techniques and waste to resource strategies, we created a performance material without compromising biodegradability. Circularity can't exist in a vacuum. Our sneaker with public school aims to capture the imagination of how we can learn from nature, our ancestors, and each other to build circular materials in circular societies. Hey, my name is Dawi, one half of Public School New York. We are uh, a fashion brand based here in New York City, and we are super excited to be part of the new exhibition towards a circular society, learning from nature. Um, and that's exactly what we did, was learn from nature and take cues um, from different industries uh, like science to be able to create a microbial sneaker that's made from cellulose that's completely regenerative, regenerative and um, serves as a model for how the fashion industry can push forward um, and move away from using virgin materials to not only help our industry, but to help our world. So we were blown away and excited to learn about the process of circularity and how bacteria can grow into a bio fabric um, and then be turned into anything, basically. We chose a sneaker because it kind of represents fast fashion, if you will, if, you know, tons and tons of sneakers wind up in landfills every single year. And so to us, it was symbolic to choose something that we could envision the most change. And so we were really happy to work with Marika and Theanne to create this sneaker um, and hopefully serve as a model for moving our industry forward. Hi, I'm Helen Liu, a professor of biomedical engineering at Columbia University in the great city of New York. Our research program centers on regenerative engineering and in particular, the design of biomaterials for healthy aging. Diverse perspectives on the team have fueled innovation and are transformative beyond this project. What has been truly exciting and inspiring is seeing how engineering design and material science principles are applied across disciplines, be it for the design of an ACL graft or a pair of sneakers for the Olympic athlete or the everyday warrior. Hello, I'm Ramaran Trobus. I am a biomedical engineering PhD researcher at Columbia University in New York City. Textile bioengineering has emerged as an approach for developing sustainable biomaterials and tissue engineering scaffolds. Our work within a regenerative engineering and biomaterials lab revolves around developing novel materials derived from microbial cellulose as natural alternatives for medical and textile applications. Inspired by bacteria's ability to synthesize cellulose and the versatile nanoscale to macroscale properties of the material, we aim to control synthesis parameters as well as chemically and structurally modified biotextiles as a natural alternative for conventional sustainable materials, as well as looking at cell response to um, microbial cellulose for tissue engineering applications. Hi, I'm Anne-Marie from Plochasse. I grew up in Bern, but I work and live in Brooklyn, New York. I'm a traditional shoe and boot maker. Um, I have been always interested in the collaborative efforts, uh, collaborative projects with other designers and um, makers because it kind of makes you think outside of the box. So this project with the sneakers that was designed in a collaborative effort by uh, a different part of the team doing the design, the end doing the material, working with the designers together and then me giving input about the making process and the materials that could be used in the sneakers it was a very interesting project, very challenging. And uh, it, it really, for me, the intersection between traditional craft, artisanship and innovation is um, 
a really, really interesting part to be.